Okay, so preparing for the interview, I've been asked flat out a couple of times now, can I just have the answers to the questions? Well, firstly, I don't have the answers to the questions because I don't have the questions. So the department will, will shake up the questions and, and rightly so because um, becoming an approved provider, you really need to um, have that capacity to run a funded education and care service. So you really need to um, you really need to show the department that you understand the application of the regulations. So that's why we work on when I do coaching with you and I prepare you for the assessment, we work on a whole range of scenarios. So, um, you know, what would happen if, or what do you need to do if, or what, who is responsible for, or all those sorts of things. So that builds your understanding of what it's like to apply legislation or regulations in the actual moment and what's actually happening. So if you want um, a broad range of knowledge and, and, and those sorts of things and how you apply that legislation and how you meet those responsibilities um, with your coordinator and your educators and those sorts of things. So I coach you through um, all aspects of running an education and care service. For, for me, um, I'm very committed to education and care services and it's not just about getting through the assessment. There's a whole lot of underpinning information there's a whole lot of underpinning principles that you really need to be aware of so um so that's what it's like coaching with me so we meet um depending on your goal we can we can arrange um, a number of hours and and you go off and do some tasks and then come back and then that that's probably what we do if um if you want me to coach your educational team um because often we see that that's where there are some gaps then you can buy x hours again and we can schedule out some meetings and we can see what comes out of that for you. So often that looks like we might touch base weekly or we might take touch base monthly. So it really does depend. And when we start the project, we identify what the goals are and we work towards those goals and we set some timeframes and all those sorts of things. So um, look, I'm not going to chase you up. I'm not um, a chaser upper. I don't chase up my own daughter, so to speak. So I'm not, um, uh, I will work with you, absolutely. And I will keep you focused and motivated. Um, but ultimately it is down to you. So um, look, hopefully we're a really good fit working together. Um, the coaching package is a really good value. You've got me at the other end for anything that you need and I can you know, um, coach, as I said, your leadership team also so that we're embedding some really best practice and some best understanding and some leadership skills and all those sorts of things um, in your leadership team. All right, so that's coaching. And yes, I can um, coach you through or to be prepared for the assessment. And as I say to a lot of people, sometimes the assessment, you've got to think of it like a maths exam. You know, you've got to do all the preparation. You've got to know where the answers lie. You've got to know what your resources are. You've got to know what um, what the principles are behind the assessment or the exam and those sorts of things. So it's really up to you and your preparation. And I can absolutely inform, um, direct and guide that preparation for you. So um, the, I've put some links in here. If you've got any further questions or if you need anything, yep, happy to answer them for you. See ya. Bye.